five number summary is a technique when you calculate five summary statistics that tell you key information about how a set of data is distributed. And in this video, you're going to see how to do that in Google Sheets. In column A, we have a set of data, 20 values, around about 50 and 60 in most of them. And the five key statistics we're going to calculate for our five number summary are shown here in column C. We're going to calculate the minimum and the maximum values. We're going to calculate the median number, which is in the middle. And then we're going to cal calculate the quartiles. The quartiles divide the data into four in the same way that the median divides the data into two. So the median splits the data into a bottom half and an upper half, and then each of these are split into two again by the quartiles. So the lower quartile divides the bottom half of the data into two, and the upper quartile divides the top half of the data into two. And each of these has its own function. Now I'm going to start this by typing the functions sometimes, but you can get them off the menu as well. So I'll show you both ways. So the first one is the minimum. If we go up here, we get the functions. Click on the drop down menu. And minimum is one of the ones that is in this list at the top because it's one that's commonly used. So I'm going to click on min and then it prompts me for the set of data. And I'll click and drag and then press enter. And there's the minimum. And I'm going to do the same for maximum. Uh, I'm going to choose the functions and max is on here. Now you'll notice that the other formula, the other functions I need aren't on here at the moment. So I'm going to type those in when I get them. Okay. So I click on max and again, select the set of data and press enter. So the minimum value was 50, the maximum value is 68. The other functions I can type in directly because I happen to know what they are. So I'll click on the cell for median. Now to type any function, I start by typing the equals sign. And then I start typing the word median. And as you'll see, it comes up as a prompt for me. So I can click on that. And again, it wants me to select the data. I need to close the bracket and then press enter. And the median value is 60.5. Finally, I have to work out the quartiles. And these have their own functions as well. If I type equals and start typing the word quartile, you'll see that it comes up with three suggestions. We're going to take the top suggestion, so click on the word quartile, click and select to uh, drag, sorry, click and drag to select the data, and then we need to say which quartile we want. So we put a comma in place, and the lower quartile is quartile one. So I'm going to type the number up one afterwards, close the brackets, press enter. And that's my lower quartile. So that's halfway between the minimum and the median. And then I do the upper quartile. So equals quartile, select the function, click and drag, comma. And then this is quartile three because it's three quarters of the way through the data. Be careful not to do a two. The median is actually quartile two. And I'll show you that in a minute. Type in the three and there's the upper quartile. And just to show you about quartile two, I'm going to go next to the median here and start typing quartile again. Select the data and I'm going to choose quartile two, close the brackets, press enter, and you'll see it gives me the same value as the median. So the lower quartile is the first quartile, the median is the second quartile, and the upper quartile is the third quartile. And these numbers divide the data into quarters, the minimum and the maximum, and the quartiles and the median dividing it into quarters. And those are the numbers for your five number summary, which you can then choose to represent through a box plot or a box and whisker plot.